Good day! Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Play. Today I'm going to try and get a sheep farm going. An automated... I guess it's more of a wool farm rather, not, not a sheep farm, but a wool farm. Um, now, I haven't thought too deeply about this. There's, I know there's multiple designs for this kind of thing. Uh, the one I'm going to try to build is quite basic. And let me think. This is what happens when you just dive right in. <clears throat> I need to build some uh, redstone things like Observer and uh, disp no, not a dispenser. A dropper. Um, I'll need some hoppers, for which I will need chests. Uh, I'll actually need a minecart and a chest. Some rails, or actually I think just one rail. Uh, also need some chests, so maybe I'll just take that whole stack. <clears throat> what else? Glass blocks. I need glass blocks. And undoubtedly I will have forgotten something here. Let me just... Alright, get started by uh, making some hoppers. I think... Oh. I need iron to make hoppers, don't I? Iron ingots. Iron ingots. <clears throat> Pardon me, little frog in my throat here. <clears throat> That's because of the frog that I ate earlier. Uh, let's see. The observer, dispenser, oh, I need uh, shears to shear the sheep, and chests, and hoppers, and rail, and minecart. Okay, I think that is the bulk of it. And of course, it's coming nighttime, so <clears throat> I'm not going to tackle the build just now. Um, I'll just give a quick tour. So, this video will go in my uh, sort of farming sub-series. I've been given a bit of thought to uh, what I might do with my my little home island here. <clears throat> Actually I'm just going to climb these this massive physically impossible staircase or improbable at least based on the materials we have today and take a look at my island. So I'm thinking I'm going to take the forest that you can see in the background there just remove that <clears throat> I've already got some zones with specialized trees. Over here we've got the giant spruce, the acacia here, there's the dark oak there, and the jungle. Well, just the one giant jungle. <clears throat> I lit up my pumpkin farm. And what did I use to light up my pumpkin farm? I was actually thinking about that and sort of planning, <coughs> excuse me, lamp posts or something. And then, and then I got thinking about what other forms of light there are in the game, and of course, jack-o'-lanterns, which are just basically carved pumpkins. Uh, maybe I'll zip over there, try not to get blowed up. Of course, when I was trying to get that going, I uh, I chose to do it at night so I could see the spread of the, the light, <laughs> and then, of course, the creepers got me and blew up. Well, this edge over here of my pumpkin farm. So I got a lot of pumpkins growing, but uh, why did I come up here? Oh yes, jack-o'-lantern. They're very bright, actually. <clears throat> uh, where's the light level here? Somewhere on this screen shows the light level. Client light, 15. Oh no, 15 sky, 11 block. Oh, I see. 15 sky. I don't really know that I follow that. 15 isn't dark. Okay, <clears throat> well, something about that doesn't make sense. But in any case, I scattered around enough uh, enough of the uh, Jack O lanterns that, uh, other than maybe right in here, I think it's bright enough that monsters won't spawn. I'm pretty sure that's bright enough there too. So, and then I repopulated the farm a bit with some uh, with some um, what are these even called? Pumpkin pumpkin stems. <clears throat> so I've basically been uh, 
not so much recording episodes as just kind of trying to build up my my uh, equipment, spells, spells and spell books. And uh, yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> Often I'll just sort of play without much of a goal in mind while I'm watching other videos, or I guess to be more accurate, listening to other videos and uh, or podcasts. Oh, Mr. Zombie went for the water. Well, we'll have to cure him of that. Okay. Oh, there's this, this armored, golden armored skeleton standing over there, and there's one in the water. Great. So what, where I want to build this is more or less right where that skeleton is standing, except on the, on the land. Okay, so that's one skeleton down. Where's the experience? Oh, what are you doing down there? That was weird. And then we've got skeleton and spiders over there and a zombie. Do I care? Hmm. Don't know that I do. Pigs, do I have any sheep on this island? I don't think I have in the past, pigs seem to be the main thing. Oh, look at this. Turtle. All of these random blocks of grass, that comes from uh, Endermen grabbing <coughs> grabbing uh, grass blocks, grassy blocks, and just sort of dropping them in random places. So that's kind of annoying. It's part of the game, I guess. <coughs> Although, if I get my the whole island actually lit up properly, <clears throat> which I may or may not, I, which I may or may not do. Oh, there's two of you. How nice. Hello, turtles. It's beachy. This beachy area is bigger than I thought. I get sort of a foreshortened view of it from up on my massive staircase. So I did clear off some trees just from uh, this this area right here. And I thought I would set up... Oh, I didn't make my observers and things. Oh my god. I'm a genius. thought I would set up my, sh my little sheep farm operation over there. Hopefully it's far enough away from my main uh, base that I won't, my house that I won't hear the sheep, although it wouldn't be the end of the world. Oh, I need another quartz. Alrighty, back into the old home storage area we go. Where is that up here? Ooh, I don't have tons of that, do I? All right, <clears throat> an observer. Oh, what, am, what else am I missing? Oh, cobblestone, for crying out loud. So I guess the uh, cobbled deep slate does not substitute in for that stuff. So that's fine. And my mouse went goofy again. <clears throat> All right, so hopefully I can build an observer now. Observer, and I need a dropper that I always want to call a dispenser for some reason. What is the other thing that I... Observer... Oh, redstone lamps. Look how bright those are. <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever made one of those. Oh, there is a, dr there is a dispenser. The heck is the difference? Oh, a dispenser. Do I want a dispenser or do I want a dropper? I don't know. Guess I'll find out. I guess I will find out. Okay, back over to the assembly area here. 
think that's a component I can sub in and out without too much problem. <clears throat> Alrighty, so the where am I gonna put this here? The observer goes. So I'm trying not to watch a tutorial on this basically. So let me uh, the observed block is that one. didn't work. Why didn't that work? I want the arrow to be, okay. I want the arrow to be facing that block. Why is that not? Oh. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's right. All right. So I actually need that to be a dirt block with grass on it. <clears throat> and that's where the, the sheep will stand. Um now we'll enclose that block with glass blocks because the grass we the grass has to be able to grow underneath the block and the only way that'll happen is with blo blocks that pass light so if you cover up a grassy block with just stone or dirt or whatever uh, the grass will die <clears throat> and then won't grow back. So the idea here is that the sheep will sit here and when it is shorn, uh, or sorry, when it eats the grass, it will trigger, when the grass grows back, or when it eats the grass, one of the two, will trigger the observer to fire out, it's when it eats the grass, will fire the observer to uh, give a little redstone pulse, at which time the dropper and or dispenser, I might have this wrong. Anyway, we'll start with the dropper. Uh, that's not right. That's not right. I think I might have the wrong thing here. Um, So we need the, the, the unit to face the sheep, and in there will go the shears, and what else? Um, I'm going to have to get a sheep from somewhere, of course. Oh, of course, the collection, the collection infrastructure, which uh, is yet to be built. So. In order to get a sheep up here, I'm probably going to have to lure it up with um, whatever lures sheep. I think it's I think it's wheat, <clears throat> and then um, have it either uh, push it push it down into the center there. Okay, so that's the that's the first part done. out here. So the underneath the grass block we need the collection uh, infrastructure I guess if you want to look at it that way. So we shall that is the okay so all right so we're going to put a wheeze a going to put a chest here somewhere. I'm just, sorry, I'm just thinking about how, to, how we're going to access, how I will access that chest. Meaning which way I'm going to want to have it facing. All right, so I'm going to plant, a, if I could actually drive my mouse, uh, that would be better. I'm going to plant chest. Let me think about that. That's an ex if I were to do a double chest, that's actually rather an extreme amount of wool, given that I'm pretty sure it can have six stacks of 64. So a single chest should be more than enough for this purpose. Now we need to. Uh, I need to connect a hopper in like so to the side of the chest. And this is where things get a little weird. 
um, and I'm not sure that I fully understand why, but um, put a rail here and a minecart with a chest on top of the rail. No. No, that's wrong. I want a minecart with a hopper is what I want. I think. Am I hallucinating? Maybe I want a minecart with a chest. Is there such a thing as a minecart with a hopper? Oh my god, I'm questioning my very sanity here. Minecart with hopper. Is that what I want? I think that's what I want. Okay, so I need to build that. Um, which is why I needed the extra hopper, isn't it? Minecart with hopper right there. So I need a hopper and a minecart. Alright, let's build a minecart. Now let's build a minecart with a hopper. Sub that in there, and it's nighttime again. I don't really want to do this in the dark. Don't need to be exploded by creepers or fighting zombies or any of that silliness. back to the rail that I planted on top of that hopper and I'll actually try it out here by dropping an item down there. I think that should work. So I'm going to plant the minecart on top of that like so and that should do it actually. So now let's see here. The chest is underneath. If I did this right, the chest is underneath. Uh, I don't know why I did that because I hit the wrong key. The chest is there. Okay, so now, 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 I think if I drop something down here, like redstone, or red, is that redstone dust, rather, that it should end up in the chest, which it did. So, that is set up right. So the idea here, is, to further explain, is that for whatever reason, hoppers can pull things through solid blocks, or at least minecart. Minecarts with hoppers can. It's a Minecraft thing. Don't don't question it too deeply. And then, uh, because the hopper is stacked on top of another hopper, it drops into this hopper, which is connected. You can see there, kinda, that it's connected to the chest. And so, the redstone dust ends up in there. Now. To make the rest of this work, or to make this work rather, I need a I need a sheep. And so my thinking was I can just yep reach the chest through there. If monsters wind up in there, maybe I should light that up actually. If monsters wind up down there, that's fine. Um, but to prevent them from spawning down there, I'll light that up. Maybe I should protect this. Um, okay, I'll worry about that. Later, where am I going to get a sheep? I don't know. This is to the east. There were sheep on the island where the villager, the village and villagers are, but I killed them and I'm not sure if any have respawned. Um, it seemed to me that that wasn't really happening the last time I looked at it. That was when I was building up the chicken farm. Um, oh, here's my mangrove uh, propagule that doesn't isn't growing for some reason. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what conditions are necessary for that to work. So. I'm gradually experimenting with that. At some point I'll figure it out. I mean, obviously I can do some googleage, but, uh, oh, I didn't bring a lead. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, I was going to drag a sheep over in the direction of the boat here. Do I have any wheat? I don't have any wheat either. Oh my god. I'm a little discombobulated here, obviously. 
back to my base. I'll get a lead, I'll get some wheat. food slot and if I can remember which way my boat is I'll go get into boot okay off we go so I'm I'm hoping that there's some sheep over in this direction um, they're often in sort of uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the biome like the, the plains one the grasslands one but it's not uncommon to find them in the forest biomes as well. Which this is right here. There's a bit of uh, spruce forest and then there's a bit of whatever they call the mixed forest with... Uh, oh, there's bees. That's another thing I haven't managed to get going. I'd like to set up a bee a bee operation so you can get honeycomb and honey and wax and that kind of stuff. Hello sheep, where are you? Where are you sheepies? Hello sheep, is that you? No, that is tree. That is not sheep, that is tree. Piggies, but you can't shear pigs, or at least, aha, ha ha, should I just use the, maybe I should just use the wheat, well, I guess I don't need, no, I just need one, maybe I'll just use the lead, come with me, come with me, sheep, I don't know if you can break the lead, if they don't get stuck, hopefully the lead won't break off. I don't have lots of experience dragging animals around, so... Hello, piggies. Still with me, Mr. Sheep? Now, oh, the question is, how do I get him into my boat? Pretty sure that's a thing. How does one do that? drag him in? Yes, I can. Nice. And then the lead pops off, and I think I can get in the boat, too. Is he beside me? Yes. Hello, my passenger sheepy. How nice to have you aboard. Well, that worked out remarkably well. Now, what I'm not sure of is how to get him out of the boat, but we'll figure that out when we get there. I wonder if I can drag villagers around in the same way. It seems a little cruel. What I would like to, what I would kind of like to do is build a, a customized village, like my own village over on my island, and uh, that way I can sort of try to tune the professions that that the villagers have and stuff like that. So, hello, sheepy. If I do this, will you? Oh, you just pop out. Well, isn't that convenient? Uh, I don't think I want the lead on you, though, do I? There we go. I want to lure you up here, is what I want to do. And you fall down now, okay? You're not gonna... You're not gonna fall, are you? Uh, do I push you in? Maybe I can do that. Oop. Get in there, you. Get in there. 
seems easier than it, or seems, seems, ah, don't do that, come on. Seems like it should be easier than this. No, don't, ah. Okay, this is, uh, this is the fiddly bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will build up temporarily a little more walking space here. have room to walk around it and come on cheapy so that I can walk around it and hopefully push it down into the into the hole there get down there get, get down there oh do I need to that's odd I wonder can you not drop them down there Come on, Mr. Stupid Head. Get in there. Darn it. Okay, that's not working. Uh, let me break that glass. And see if I can push him in there. Oh, my God. How about now? Will you come down if I... No? A glass block but I don't think that matters okay that was not horrendously painful all right mr. sheep you go do your business there oh I guess I'm gonna need the first think about this for a second when he eats yeah when he eats either when he eats or when he or when it grows back uh, I think it's when he eats, so I'm just going to go have a try to sleep so that we can do this in the daylight. Oh, I should probably put some torches around there so that the grass will grow back at night as well. Also, that'll help keep the monsters away a little bit. Probably I should build up a wall. Oh, maybe I'll, since, I think, since I'm thinking about it, maybe I'll build up a wall around. around potions of night vision because um, I'm planning to uh, explore a deep dark biome. Oh, there we go. So he ate. That didn't trigger the shears. Maybe I don't need a dropper. Maybe I need a dispenser. Wait and see if the... What is... Oh, the torches are smoking through the ground. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, wait until the grass grows back, I guess, but I think, I think perhaps I put the wrong type of thing there. Slap some torches up there to make it well lit, and in the meanwhile, let's build some walls here. screw back nothing happened okay so that tells me that this is the wrong it's the wrong thing so what I need is not so much a dropper as a 
dispenser. Okie dokie. Let's just plant the boat here. Head on in and make a dispenser. So for that I'm going to need a bow, right? As well as the ISP. Redstone, seven cobbles, and a bow. Redstone, seven cobbles, and a bow. So, might as well just, might as well just take the right number of things here. Redstone. Uh, do I have any bows that are... I do not. So, I'm going to make a bow. Stones, seven cobbles, and a bow. Alrighty, here comes a dispenser. You see other possibilities that my observer is facing the wrong way, except I don't think so, because the face was towards the grass block. So... Boy, hopefully I don't have to break this down to make this work. Uh, can I... Hmm. Is that facing the right way? Can't even tell. over here, Mr. Sheep. So, I don't know if my dispenser is facing the right direction. Why am I ducking down? Weird, 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 weird habits we humans have. Okay. If I, maybe if I look way underneath, I'll be able to see. I kind of feel like it isn't, but I'm not sure. I might have to, I might have to take my little sheep buddy out of there. Yeah, you know what? Just in case. Just in case. Oh yeah, it's totally facing the wrong way. I think. Come on out, bro. Yeah, you. Come on out. Let me just uh, close that up so you can't go anywhere. Okay, let's break that. You gonna come out? No? Okay, I guess I just pushed you out. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so of course I don't have any wheat because I'm a genius. Okay, sheep bro, pop up. There we go. There you go. Now go, go, go down. Just like that. Perfect. Should have brought a glass. Uh... Okay, now we're back in business. Oh, where's my, where my shears? They're there. Okay, and now we wait. <laughs> I'm not sure which condition will trigger. I think, I think it's meant to be the sheep eating the grass that triggers that. I'm 
Now a person could break out these bottom glass blocks and I don't think the sheep could get out of there, which might facilitate the grass growing back. However, I think the danger then is that the shear, not, I don't actually understand how the shears don't leave the, the dispenser. That's not something that I'm clear on, um, although they don't seem to. Uh, but the wool, I think that the risk there is that the wool may not land in that center block and it's only from that center block where things are going to get pulled down into this apparatus here. Now of course a person could, you could build sort of an array of hoppers that feed into each other and then into a chest or chests, but, but I wonder if the rain prevents the, uh, oh no, it grew. So now we wait for Mr. Sheep to eat the grass. From maybe from maybe we'll do that from right here. And uh, yeah, bro, just eat. Don't look at me. Just eat. Cross-eyed sheepy. So this is obviously not a high-speed production <laughs> of of wool, but the the idea is that it's automatic and will happen as long as you're as long as the player is within the uh, the world distance that allows the blocks the the updates whatever you're within the distance that keeps keeps the old world ticking along it does rain a lot here here on this island no apparent reason. Actually, it just occurred to me that my building of this uh, giant structure that you can see here, I haven't even done that yet in my main series. Um, the reason for that is that I went through kind of a, a period of... Did that not work? Why did that not work? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just remembered. So the power doesn't... The block that's powered by the observer is not above, it's behind. Ugh. This is what you get when you're not that experienced with using redstone. Which I really am not. It's not something I've done very much of. Um... Here, do I have any gates? Let me take an acacia gate because that should look pretty good, right? Okay, let's have a little sleep. Sleeping the night away. Oh, look at the time. Wow. This, this episode has been going on for a while. I'd very much like to get this thing into operation though, but it's close now. It's close. So, I think the problem is basically that the, the, uh, the block that gets powered by the observer triggering is this one. And therefore we need to have redstone, which then, on top of that block, which then takes the signal and feeds it into the dispenser. So I wonder if the dropper actually was the right thing to have there. I'm not sure now. Now I don't know. And, oh, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Nice. Actually, it does look good. I mean, that's the same. There, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't directly watching, but. And then when the grass grew back, the redstone fired again. Cool. So now in this chest there will be, wool. <laughs> Here comes the wool. Now, depending on what you want wool for, uh, there are things one can do with wool. Um, and then there's different colors of wool. You can make carpeting and uh, banners, I think, or use wool. I'm not even sure. Actually, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Anywho, 
I don't really need to leave this open, but I'm going to for now because that's my access down there if I need to get down there for some reason. But I can get at the chest from up here. So as soon as Mr. Sheep decides to eat that grass again, he should get sheared again, which I'd kind of like to see. Oh, here we go. Boom, sheared, wool drops, and we have three wool blocks. So they can drop, I think sheep can drop from, I'm going to say, one to three wool every time they're sheared. Something like that. All right. So that's cool. Got it right. I'd kind of like to change that for glass, but see, we've just gone past 40 minutes, so I'm not going to do that for now. So that's that. That is the, uh, that's going to be basically the conclusion of the farming episode here. I have not yet done any experimenting with wheat farming, automating wheat farming. Uh, I have some thoughts on that. Um, I mentioned in another video that I'm going to try to do that without without looking at any tutorials or anything, see if I can't figure out a method all by my little old self, out of my very own brain cells, which uh, might be a challenging proposition. My hope is, I think I mentioned already, that by having the sheep farm way over there, that you can sort of see from where I'm jumping, that I won't be able to hear the sheep when I'm in my fortress of solitude here. It's fairly quiet. I guess there's probably some crackling of the, the campfire, but that's a nice sound. Alrighty, there it is. Farming episode, whatever. Um, originally that farming series was all about building an automated sheep farm. What sheep farm? Automated chicken farm uh, so it actually roasts the chickens and produces some feathers as well so it's like an, an automated roast chicken farm I guess if you want to look at it that way um, it is not close enough I'm about 99% sure to where I uh, where my island is here it's on the other side of the, the large island where that village is just off, off in that direction so I'm quite sure it's out of the, uh, the update range anyway that's gonna do it. I've, 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 uh, maundered? Is that a word? I think it's a word. Blathered? That's one I often say. I need some other words besides blathered. Rambled? Rambled. That's not a bad one. So I've rambled on long enough. I built a, with a bit of experimentation, a successfully functional automated wool farm. So that's, that's pretty good. And... Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's anything more I wish to say. So thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.